Today is gonna to be all about testing makeup. New and new to me that nobody cares about. Sometimes I just end up picking up items and I'm not even sure why. So I have such a combination here. There's luxury items, and there's a few high-end items. There is a few drugstore items. So we're just gonna mix and match. Tonight is just you, me, and the cat. <laughs> he looks so angry, but he's the sweetest thing in the whole world. I picked up some of these items thinking I would incorporate them into some of my new videos and I ended up not doing that. So it's almost a full face and it's almost like it's like cat hair on me now. <laughs> Don't pick up your cat with lip gloss on. So the stuff that's brand brand new to me is the All Hours Foundation from YSL. This is a luminous matte foundation, full coverage, weightless feel. I picked this up because they launched a new concealer and I was going to wait to incorporate this in a video but who knows when that concealer is going to come back in stock. It's literally been out of stock so. This has an SPF of 30. I'm so into a matte foundation. The only other one that I have that says luminous matte is the one from Gucci and I'm loving it. So whatever, we're not gonna wait for that concealer to drop. We're just gonna test it. And then I picked up their new releases to go along with it, which is the Rouge Pour Couture Satin Color Lipstick Long Lasting Comfort. And I picked up the two shades that were brand new. So this is not new at all. This is the Iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pot. I've shown this in my haul, but I never put it on. And I wanted to do a full face of the Iconic London with the concealer, but then I never ended up doing that. And then the concealer got old, you get it. And then from BH Cosmetics, they launched liquid blushes. So I had two shades of these, and I swear these have been out for like two months. Never got a chance to try them. And then ColourPop launched their Chrome Liquid Shadows. I wanna say even four months ago, I'm literally pulling cat hair off of me. And then I never got a chance to use this either or even felt like I had a video to incorporate this into. Those are basically the new stuff that I haven't tested. The stuff that I'm going to bring in is the Victoria Beckham Vast Lash. That's a brand new release. The Gucci Concealer. That's a brand new release. And we'll pair that chrome shadow with the Prada Beauty new eyeshadow palette. One of the palettes that I picked up. So that's what's on today's agenda. Let's go. I'm not really worried about fallout, but I figure we just go into the eyeshadow first. So this is the Supernova Chrome Liquid Shadow from ColourPop. I picked this up, I'm pretty sure, on Ulta's website when I did a pretty large Ulta haul, and it just sat there. Never got unboxed. I never felt like I had a video to incorporate it into. It's really pretty. I can really, really see the shift in person. I feel like this is going to be way too bright of a look, but I don't care. I can't wait to see how this formula dries down because it is such a deep shade. My goodness, if this takes forever to dry down, I'll be here all day. Um, I just, I don't know if these are great for hooded eyes. I am not taking this all the way in because I'm going to use a lighter shimmer on like the total inner corner. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going with it. Oh my gosh. It's like messing with the hooded part of my lids. It keeps coming off where the crease of my eye happens. I have coated it several times and it just keeps like removing from the spot that's hooded. I love when the first product is a fail. Otherwise it feels like a nice formula. Now the dog is here. You're so sweet girl. Hey sweet girl. Sweet girl. It's basically taking forever to dry down. I'm not even sure it's going to. And like the spots where my eyes are hooded, it just isn't drying. It's like turning this, I don't know, it's like fully coming off on that spot. This is just not, this is not good for hooded eyes. I can tell you that right now, but I'm gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna take the palette from Prada and I'm gonna pull in this shade in the very, very middle and then this silver one in the inner corner where I left that space. I feel like these are pretty lightly pigmented if I remember correctly. We'll see. I went for full clown on this look. Like this is a terrible liquid shadow for hooded eyes, really. It's full clown, full clown. <laughs> this is the reason I didn't touch this shadow is because I knew that I should probably test it privately and not in a video just because I wasn't sure how it was going to perform and since it's such a deep shade I kind of figured I might struggle like creating a look but wouldn't be able to hide it if it didn't work because it would be just so pigmented and dark. Well that was absolutely horrendous. I absolutely feel like I'm going to end up decluttering this. It's just not good for hooded eyes. With hooded eyes or textured lids 
like it seems like a good idea it's just not super functional and this formula is straight up cracking on me and with like textured lids like this it's just this is not good that might work on people with perfectly non-textured lids or non-hooded lids but i don't even think that formula is great i like the eyeshadow palette from prada like it semi saved the look but i can't use this it's beautiful like from a distance but then of course once it gets to your lid it's mostly purple and it's just a little bit too thick for my 38 year old eyes and then my serious hoods so no thanks Let's move into the foundation. I have mine in the shade Light Neutral, an LN1. The fourth ingredient in here is alcohol, so if that bothers you guys, you guys aren't gonna like this. I happen to not be bothered by alcohol at all. In fact, I think I kinda like it on my skin just because it's mad oily these days. I feel like my combo days are just over. I started out in 2022 spending my whole life with very, very dry skin extremely dry could never even see my pores on my face it's like i didn't even have any they just weren't open i would get so dry i would get flaky i was so dehydrated or my face was so dehydrated and i got so much acne i think from being dehydrated like all this texture on my skin is from the acne i had as even as an adult like my acne didn't stop until i was 37 years old and i kept wondering like when is it gonna stop when are my hormones gonna change to the point that i no longer get acne because i'm old and i'm tired of it and it was cystic acne too i would get like raging cysts that just like itched and got dry and flaky wow this is really full coverage really really full coverage but i like it i feel like the shade is still like uh, maybe a tad yellow and then at the very end of 2022 all of a sudden my skin went from super super flaky nasty dry to all of a sudden my acne just immediately stopped it was the weirdest thing and then all of a sudden i started noticing pores on my nose I know that seems weird because I hear a lot of people talking about like having a lot of pores and like having pore diffusers and I really just didn't have that problem. I almost thought my pores just never opened or something along those lines. This foundation does remind me of Gucci. My favorite Gucci one that I'm loving right now. This one is fragranced. Of course, most of them are. And I would say this is like a heavier texture than the one from Gucci, even though it was kind of runny on the back of my hand. But I love these luminous matte ones. They're not like over drying, but they last on my skin. So I'm gonna use the Gucci concealer. Anyway, some of my foundations are older than my skin change. And so a lot of them are more on the hydrating side, more luminous, more dewy, which I feel like a lot of people are into now. And it's just the moment when my skin can't handle it. The luminous dewy finish foundations, they just slip right off of me. I get so oily on my nose and forehead that literally they won't last me all day. It'll last me four hours and then most of it is off on my face. And then I'm at work for a full eight hours. So, you know, I absolutely lost my train of thought. I think the point was that all I'm doing these days is grabbing for matte foundations. This doesn't claim to have any like added fragrance, but it has citrus, flower extract, I mean, jasmine. It, there's just things in here that definitely are scented but it does smell kind of like perfume i felt like doing a foundation a day video foundation a day for 48 days or however long it takes me to re-wear the foundations that i've had in my collection since my skin has changed and then see which ones i actually really like because man i have never before experienced a change I'm going into the iconic london in skin type like that so drastically and the reason that I remember it so well is because it was right around the time that my dad got sick and ended up passing away. And it was like right after that. And that was October 5th of 2022. So we're coming up on the one year anniversary. So the top one is definitely like a potted cream and it came smashed, but I repressed it. And this is also like a cream. So one's a contour. I don't know. They're both Precision Duo Contour Pot says apply the cream to the holes of your cheeks and layer the powder. Yeah, I don't know that this is powder. They both look cream, but I guess they're calling this one the powder. So we'll go with the powder on the top and we'll use this one first. So of course that moment in time for me was so pivotal. Like I just remember it so distinctly. I mean, everything that was happening to me, it's like 
you know, you make markers in time based on, okay, this is not dense enough, based on like, you know, traumatic events for yourself. And I just noticed like that was the moment. And even looking back at my videos, like, oh, that's, that's when your acne stopped. And this is really pretty. I hated the new concealer from Iconic London. Okay, not hated. I think that's a little extreme. It just, it didn't wow me on the first try. This is a little bit harder to get up on a fluffier brush, but I think you can with a little bit of struggle. Anyway, I just happened to notice right at that moment, it was like, okay, my acne stopped. First, I thought a lot of it was due to hormones, which I'm sure it is. And some of it I attribute to my skincare too, which is really weird to think. Like, oh, can I really change my skin type based on the moisturizers that I'm using? But I kind of feel like you can. I'm going on with the powder. If you have like a valid skin prep and you're really doing a good job to hydrate your skin, like both with water and skincare, I feel like it really can change your complexion. So that's kind of what I experienced, but it was so drastic. I've never been a person with oily skin and it almost felt like it changed overnight. I would love to know if you guys have experienced anything like that. Both of these are beautiful. You could use just one on its own or not. It's the tiniest thing alive, but it's actually really cool for like travel. I kind of like the idea of smaller products because I feel like I can get through them more. It's not always true, but it does come with a mirror on the inside. Cool. If you wanted powder and contour, I actually really do like this. And I like both of the shades too. I'm going to go with both of these shades on either side. These were... I want to say like two months ago, launched from BH Cosmetics, the Sun Flushed Liquid Blushers. I'm a big fan of BH Cosmetics, so I usually pick up all of their new releases. But it almost seems like no one's really talking about BH Cosmetics anymore, which is such a shame after they were purchased by Makeup Revolution. I feel like they talked about them right when they had their new launches, but after that, no one has discussed them. Why can I not find the shade on this? Well, that's just unfortunate. The shade is literally on the sticker. I hate when they do that. Just... You put the sticker on the wrapper, we'll never be able to find it again. It's not like we're keeping the wrapper. I'm not pulling the sticker off. Tropic Haze is this one, which is, a, I feel like a bit more mauve-y. Kind of like a putty almost. Oh, wow. That's actually a really nice feeling. Oh, look. That's going to be super easy. A little bit goes a really long way. I just... I barely tapped the brush into like the corner. A lot picked up on the brush. This is more of a coral shade, I want to say. And I hardly used any, so you do not need a lot. Even though it's liquid, it, it feels like a, a cream. It feels more powdery. I see a bit of radiance on it, so I don't know if this is going to be a matte finish. Cannot remember what the formula is supposed to be on these because I've had them for so long. That's why we're doing this. Trying on makeup, nobody cares about. I'm going to use this much this time. It's such a small dot. Look, look how far it goes. Ooh, this one's bright. This one is Tangerine Sun, I think was the shade. Yes, Tangerine Sun. Ooh, if you guys like orange. Man, you need the smallest dot. It is so pigmented. This is madness, madness. This was way too much. This brush picks up a ton more. Ooh, this is so pigmented. Guys, I barely touched it. Look at that. Good thing we're just clowning around. <laughs> These are actually really nice, by the way. These are inexpensive, plus they're super pigmented. I'm gonna see if I can't like set these down and like dull them out a bit. I'm gonna go into the Victoria Beckham Vast Flash. It's a lengthening mascara. It has a curved wand and it's kind of not my favorite. I've been testing this, but I've been making such a mess with it. Like every time I try and get close to my lash line, I always end up bumping it and then getting it on my lid. I don't like it. I don't like the wand is what it is. The mascara itself seems really nice. Total glass container. Oh, I've already made a mess. Like it already flaked. It's a pretty wet formula. I want this to dry out a bit. See how I like it. You got in a couple of spots. Man, that was drying out fast. Yeah, I make such a mess with this wand. I hate this wand. This mascara is kind of clumpy. Let's go into this, the YSL. So let's try on No Intendu an N157. I feel like these were limited edition. So, oh, these are very, very bright colored. It's satin. I'm not going to leave this one on, but let's lip swatch it. Oh, these are comfortable. Holy smokes, you guys. And pigmented. So you got to be precise because I just made a mess. YSL lip products, 
they're the best they smell not coconut but some like pina colada like something super fruity and every one of my YSL lip products smells like that and it's pleasant it's so much more pleasant than putting floral fragrance in your lip products oh hello fall yes these are so comfortable literally want to lick this don't lick it it's so delicious it's so delicious you guys every one of their lip products is consistently smelled like this i don't know if they all do you guys tell me but smells like pina colada or something tropical maybe i'm mislabeling the smell the other one that i have is blouse new no it's in n8 relatively the same a uh, little bit more red pigment than orange maybe this one's not as pigmented so that's good it's not as deep either so I honestly could not have paired a worse lip color with this eye look. Well. <laughs> All right, what do I love? I really liked this little pot from Iconic London. I got this on sale for I think $13.50, which was half off. I can't imagine paying full price for this because it's so darn small, but I think I got it on Sephora's website. These are awesome. You only need a little drop. It goes a really long way. They're super pigmented and I set them down but they did start off with a little bit of a radiant finish. I'm not sold on this concealer. It's kind of an okay concealer. It doesn't really wow me. I don't find that it's overly hydrating. And even though I love a matte foundation, I feel like my concealers have to be more lightweight and more hydrating because my under eyes are drier. I don't think I'm loving this mascara. It's decent. I don't love that this is like crooked. I noticed that when I was filming the video that the like lid was not straight so i've been trying to bend it i like that it's like a glass component i just feel like it's kind of chunky you know doesn't really do anything that other mascaras do i don't know if you have hooded eyes or textured eyes skip this for sure these lipsticks are freaking amazing i'm now convinced that as far as luxury bullets go ysl kills it and i've been trying so many luxury lipsticks lately the floral fragrance on the top which is on most of the luxury lipsticks i personally cannot stand it i don't like it this is the one luxury lipstick that i feel like doesn't do that to us makes it super lightly fruity drink scented so i like this one i have had one other ysl but it was a skin tint but it was also still gorgeous so if you can stand alcohol i think this is nice i don't think that it's overly mattifying and i like that it has an spf of 30. that is my clowning around for today you guys i hope you enjoyed today's very very weird try on i know i'm leaving this video with purple eyeshadow orange lip two different color blushes who cares enjoy your day clown around do what you want with your makeup because it's yours i am out of here and i hope to catch you all in my next video bye guys